good morning and welcome in <coughs> trucker Rudy here today I am uh, going to do something a little different today than I generally do and as you probably have noticed I didn't do a uh, intro video or kind of like a video anyways but uh, I figured I'd do something a little different here today because uh, I had uh, somebody that I got to know on the internet there uh, through jo uh, Trucker Josh's uh, uh, YouTube channel. He does uh, designs for uh, uh, video entrance. His name is Ron and he goes by uh, on the website by uh, design.com and uh, he designed a uh, intro logo video for me. So I wanted to give a big shout out to him and uh, say thanks to him for designing that for me. He did an awesome job on designing my logo. I love it and uh, I hope you guys will love it too. So uh, I will leave uh, the descriptions for his contacts and uh, the, the description down below in the description box there on my channel so you can contact him. if. Uh, if you guys uh, like uh, like the intro video and uh, if you like him to design something for you, go check him out. I'll uh, leave his contact information down below. So with that out of the way, here is the uh, intro video. I'll show it to you and uh, let me know uh, what you guys think. there you have it I hope you guys uh, liked it I certainly do so uh, so go check them out if, if you like uh, if you like what you designed for me and uh, if you if you like to get him to design something real cool for you I'm sure he can do it so go check them out and uh, thanks Ron for the good work you did I know it takes a lot of a lot of time uh, to, to design something like that because uh, I, I've been around long enough uh, doing video stuff long enough no, by, by now I know it takes a lot to, uh, to design something like that but uh, yeah thanks thanks very much and on the other hand I am on my way to uh, Laredo Texas right now so I got me a real long uh, long trip this time it is uh, September the 12th so uh, you'll see this in one week from today but uh, Anyways, uh, I love it. I haven't been in Laredo in probably in a year or over a year probably. It's been a long time since I've been in Laredo, so so it's uh, it's a good trip. It's about uh, 2,800 kilometers. I haven't figured out how many miles that is, but uh, that's that's a good good three-day drive. So we'll uh, we'll make our way down that way and uh, see what happens. <laughs> Funny story this morning I saw on my way into Winnipeg. I had to bobtail into Winnipeg this morning to go pick up my uh, preloaded trailer up here in the, the Winnipeg terminal. And uh, I saw a local uh, delivery guy, like just a five, uh, five ton truck or eight ton truck or whatever, just a little flat deck guy there. He, uh, he lost his load this morning. <laughs> so much for uh, uh, securing his load. I guess he didn't do a very good job. So, but most of the times these local guys they don't tie it down very good because they don't take it very far. So, but anyways, he had some lumber and then some in the styrofoam right on top of it, and he lost it. <laughs> fell right off of his, fell right off of his uh, flat deck there. It was laying on the side of the road there. So that's pretty funny to see that. But uh, luckily nobody got hurt. But uh, anyways, uh, and then also this morning I saw a truck of Josh hit the hit the moose. Uh, Sorry to hear that, Trucker Josh, if you watch this video. Uh, I, I feel your pain, man. I just spent $5,200 uh, on my truck last week, too, so I know I know how that feels. Uh, I, I saw the pictures online there. Man, that's, <laughs> that doesn't look too good. Uh, I hope, uh, I hope everything ahead. goes well for you, Trucker Josh. Uh, I love your videos, man. And uh, you inspire me all the time, so uh, thanks, uh, thanks, Josh. 
I, uh, I really appreciate you uh, making videos out there as well. Uh, I love watching your videos, and uh, I hope I hope you have uh, have a good uh, good mechanic there that you can get everything fixed properly. And I really hope that your truck didn't uh, get bent too bad, out of shape. You know, you had a moose uh, that can do some serious damage. So. I read on online there that you said it wasn't too bad, so that's at least a good thing, but uh, anyways, uh, feel your pain, so get that out of the way, we'll, uh, we'll get the show rolling here. So, uh, I'm just leaving Winnipeg right now, and uh, this morning when I did my pre-trip there on my trailer, I noticed a uh, marker light was out on my, uh, on my trailer, so I had to go get that fixed, you know. Got that out of the way. Luckily, it was just down the road uh, where we have a trailer shop that fixes trailer for our company, and luckily they were able to jump on it right away. So uh, I was pretty happy about that. I was only in there like maybe 15 minutes, and I was out of there. So really love doing that kind of stuff, and you don't have to wait or not. Just pull in there, and they put you in the bay right away, and get on it, and get you out of there ASAP. That's that kind of job I like so they got me out of there pretty quick so I'm really happy about that because I got a long way to go and a short time to get there so like I said it's a full three days to, to drive down there and I'm supposed to be there uh, Monday morning so uh, that's gonna require me to do a full 11 hours a day pretty much so we'll make it happen but uh, it just delayed me a little bit this morning getting the trailer fixed and everything you know always takes time to call the shop find out where like i mean uh, our, our steinbeck terminal shop there like hunters has a shop in steinbeck there so always have to call them and uh, get permission to uh, get the trailer fixed and uh, always have to find out where where i can take it right so always takes time to call them and sometimes you don't get all of them right away because there's only one guy answering the phones and we got 350 trucks probably on the road so you know he's, he's always busy so it takes time to get a hold of him and find out where I can take the, take the trailer and everything but luckily this morning I was pretty lucky I got a hold of him right away and uh, was able to find out where the shop was and it was just down the road so pretty happy about that but anyways enough of that crap we'll get get rolling and uh, hopefully it will go good uh, to border today and uh, we'll see you down the road we are just entering South Dakota right now or at least I am but I uh, stopped over there in Fargo and uh, got me a bite to eat and had my uh, mandatory half an hour break and uh, got me a greased, uh, grease job done on the truck I changed the oil yesterday I always like to get a grease job done when I change the oil so I don't really have a proper uh, grease gun so I figure I get the grease job done once I get down the road so got that done over there in Fargo so here we are already in South Dakota on our way to Texas so looks like it's a good day it's not really windy out here today so at least I'm getting half decent fuel mileage We'll try and get down to uh, Iowa tonight. I don't know how I can get it that far tonight, but we'll see what happens. We'll see how far I get. Alrighty, I made it down to Sioux City, Iowa, and I will be spending the night over here. So it's uh, quite dark out here already, so uh, I'm uh, gonna end this right here and uh, call it a day. We'll go. Get ready to go to bed and get going tomorrow again it's been a it's been a good day got a good uh, good miles in today so I'm really happy about that but uh, anyways stay tuned uh, for tomorrow we'll see you guys tomorrow at 5 a.m. please uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and uh, we'll see you then <music>